I just wrapped three days at Art Basel Miami Beach and I had an amazing time. In addition to a lot of awesome artwork, I was also pleasantly surprised to find that there were several events and activations for watch enthusiasts. So I stayed right on ocean at this hotel called the Cardozo, which was founded by Gloria Estefan. And the reason why I chose that hotel was because it's right across the street from the beach where you can find the Untitled Art Fair, which is one of the more major art fairs during Miami Art Week. I ran into a couple familiar faces there, including the talented artist Joyri Manaya. In the true spirit of being in Miami, I rocked my bluesy on my first day in town. It was also awesome to stumble upon an installation that the watch brand Rado had as a major sponsor of the Untitled Art Fair. I'm going to share a dedicated video to the Rado installation soon. The artist Vanessa German was in the building. There's a new artist whose work I was unfamiliar with named Yael Medres Pier, who was a really amazing painter. After a couple hours at the Untitled Art Fair on South Beach, I made my way to the mainland to go check out the Nada Art Fair. On the way from South Beach to the mainland, you pass Star Island, which, as I remember correctly, is the location of the mansion owned by Scarface in the film starring Al Pacino. The Nada Art Fair is well known for its emerging and edgy artists, and I ran into a couple familiar faces and friends here, including Otto Ribeiro, an artist out of Atlanta, represented by Burnaway, the talented artist Ezekwe Mohammed, and Hannah Traore Gallery. After leaving Nada, I made my way to the Haggerty Garage and Social Club, which is a really cool private club for car lovers. They had some awesome pieces in their garage, but the cars that they had in their main space, a Porsche, a Mercedes Benz, and Jaguar, were so beautiful. After leaving Haggerty Garage and Social Club, I made my way back to South Beach, this time to attend a private party hosted by the good folks at Cultural Council. But I was starving at this point, so I stopped at a restaurant called Pollo Cijarras to have a nice dinner before doing a little bit more drinking for the evening. After dinner, I made my way over to Brothers Keeper, a restaurant, bar, and lounge with an awesome back patio with pool. On day two, I rocked my Christopher Ward 12. The day was a little bit cooler than expected, and I made my way to the SLS Hotel for my work event. After my work event, I made it back to my hotel so that I could take a nap, change, and make my way over to the Miami Convention Center for the Art Basel proper fair. I decided to switch it up for the evening and rock my Tudor Black Bay. On my way to the convention center, I stopped and grabbed a coffee because I had another long evening ahead of me. So out of all of the fairs, Art Basel is the largest in North America for modern art. It can be very overwhelming if you've never attended something of this scale. For those of you who have been to say the Louvre or the Vatican's art collection, in terms of the idea that you can actually go to this fair every day for a few days before you've seen all of the work in the fair. There's always a great mix of emerging artists as well as legendary artists. I got to see some work from Saul LeWitt, Keith Haring, George Kondo, the legendary Barkley Hendrix. Even George Clinton's famous mothership. The living legend Faith Ringgold, Bisa Butler, the artist filmmaker Jatobia Gary, and several other artists who were new to me. After leaving Art Basel, I made my way back to the mainland so I can attend an event hosted by a friend of mine called the Miami Tech Happy Hour. After leaving the happy hour, I made my way to another event which was pretty awesome and bizarre called Sukeban, hosted by the folks at Cultural Council. This was a wrestling tournament of Japanese women under the freeway in downtown Miami.
On my last day in town, I decided to rock my Zenith El Primero. There were lots of things that I was trying to squeeze into a small amount of time, and so the first thing that I did was make my way over to the Scope Art Fair. On my way, I passed the famous Versace Mansion, which is really popular on South Beach for its baller dinners and parties. Like Untitled, Scope sits right on the beach. So in addition to seeing great artwork, you can also get great views of the ocean. Here I came across Boca Raton based gallery MBW, which featured the artwork of an artist who does these amazing drawings of horological timepieces. After leaving Scope, I made my way back to the mainland so I could attend Cartier's Time Unlimited exhibition. I didn't learn about this exhibition until I was there. It popped up in my Instagram ads, so I had to make sure I checked this out before I left. There were Cartier models I'd never seen before, short films featuring Jake Gyllenhaal, and they had really awesome digital activations and displays for guests to experience. I'll be dropping a dedicated video on Cartier's Time Unlimited exhibition soon. I hope that you enjoyed the Art Basel Miami Beach tour, and if you had any favorite moments from this video, please let me know in the comments. Till next time.